What's up guys, this is Brian with Bear USA, the fine art photography project that contrasts natural beauty with man-made decay. Check out the website at bare-usa.com. Today we're going to be exploring abandoned places in Kansas. If you want to skip to a specific location that I'm about to mention, just go down in the comments section and click on the link to that location. We're going to start off with a farmhouse and then we're going to go to an old carbon refinery. And then after that, we're going to go to the Joyland Amusement Park in Wichita, Kansas. We're going to stop by what appeared to be an old grain elevator outside of Salina. And then lastly, we're going to stop at a place called Dr. W.B. Jones's house. Um, I want to remind you guys that my motivations is for my photography project. And therefore, I don't go over a lot of history of these places. Um, it's mostly just visual. If I were to go over some history, it would just be something that I'd Google. So if you want to find out more about these places, I suggest you just Google it. And without further ado, let's check out the cool abandoned places in Kansas. And I almost forgot, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for your support. Along Route 160 in Attica, Kansas, I saw this uh, abandoned house from the road and I figured it was a good spot to break my Kansas ice. So let's check it out. Could I do a whole photo shoot here? Yeah, yeah I could. Um, it's definitely a great example of man-made decay. Um, it's more of a bird house these days, just full of birds. Um, I think I'll move on, but it's a really cool spot. I'm glad I stopped. So I'm approaching this abandoned carbon refinery in Ray's uh, southwestern part of Kansas. I've really gone far out of my way to check this place out. I'm really nervous uh, to see if I can at least be able to check it out. Um, sometimes I drive all this distance and I'm not able to look at what I wanted to look at, but it's right up ahead. We'll find out really soon. So I just pulled in to check it out. I think I might have drawn some attention though. Looks cool, looks really cool. I'm really in the middle of nowhere. I thought this would be easier. I don't particularly love this. Stacks full of hay, so clearly somebody owns it and uses it. Cool with all the 
tumbleweed. There's some kind of bird in here that does not like my presence. I don't know what kind of bird it could be. place is awesome there's no doubt about that and it would probably be uh, strange for me to question whether or not I wanted to shoot here but the facts are I'm about three and a half four hours away from Wichita which is the only place I can seem to find a model out of so that's a lot of money and expenses to get all the way out here um, it's a lot of open space uh, so today's it would be the perfect day to shoot here but if it's a sunny day, it's going to be totally different conditions with a lot of shadows and a lot of bright lights. Now I can solve that by shooting late in the afternoon or early in the morning. Um, early in the morning is not going to happen because it's so far away. Late in the afternoon gives me very limited time to get the photos I need. So it would have to be an overcast day. Being that it's so far away, it would really suck to come all the way out here and get kicked off. I haven't drawn any attention yet, I'm starting to feel more secure here, but you never know. So, it seems like it's a slam dunk, but really there's a lot of factors to consider. GoPro, but they're really cool. So if I'm gonna take all the time and effort to come back out here and do a photo shoot, maybe I ought to see if there's a way I can ask for permission. I 
I'm at the Joyland Amusement Park here in Wichita, Kansas. Um, looks like most of this place has been torn down though. Some structures are still up, so we're gonna take a look at it. I think in the pile of wood that I'm walking on right now it used to be a really cool wooden roller coaster.
Unfortunately, a lot of Joyland is not so joyful anymore. It's been torn down. But there are a number of key elements and key rides that can make for a really cool photo shoot if I did it right. It's a challenging shoot. I'd probably have to do two early morning sessions. Um, but I don't have an amusement park yet in my collection and to think I would find one in Wichita. So it's under serious consideration. I'm just outside of Strong City in Kansas and uh, came across this cool structure on the side of the road. I saw it and I figured I should uh, stop and check it out. It's an abandoned grain elevator is what it is. Um, I can tell by the machinery, but I can also tell because of the smell. It smells bad. Um, it was the same exact smell in Superior, Wisconsin at the Globe Green Elevator because that grain had been rotting for over 100 years. So a lot of this grain is old and rotting and fermenting and it's just got a really pungent smell. So the trucks would pull in this garage here and I think the grains would dump into the back of the trucks and we would take off. I'm gonna guess the old tractor isn't abandoned and that this private property is still used to store things and whatnot. Definitely a cool spot and I could totally use it for a shoot. Um, only downside is I didn't know where to park. I actually parked right up front very obviously and uh, it's on the side of the highway. So I feel like my time here is fairly limited and I should get going, which is what I'm gonna do. I'm in Florence, Kansas uh, at a location that I found with the help of uh, darkkansas.com. Um, this is known as uh, Dr. W.B. Jones's house. It actually looks pretty cool. I mean, it's small and solitary, but you know, it might really give me a Kansas feel, which would be pretty cool for a photo shoot. So let's check it out. It actually says Dr. W.B. Jones, 1876 up there. It's pretty cool. second floor. I mean it's really old. So it's probably not the most sturdy structure I've ever walked on.
really cool to see how this house is constructed with the wood mixed in with the with the rocks and the mortar. It's awesome. I'm glad I came. What's up guys? Stephanie and I just got done doing a photo shoot here at the very amazing and enchanting Joyland here in Wichita, Kansas. Um, it's an old amusement park and it's just decimated. So we got some really awesome shots. Early in the morning we came at 6.30 to avoid the sun. We got some really cool shots on the slide and on the roller coaster and the Ferris wheel and this thing back behind us. So I'm really excited to show you guys what we got. Stephanie was amazing. What did you think about the whole thing? I thought it was a lot of fun. Besides being tired, only two hours of sleep. Great shoot. She worked very hard regardless of the sleep and like I said I'm excited to show you guys the stuff so moving on. It's now time for me to say goodbye to Kansas as I near the end of my five hour drive through the scenic prairies. Um, in all seriousness, it's been a great stay in Kansas. I uh, went to Wichita, found a great location, got a good model, uh, did the shoot, and now it's time for me to move forward with the project, so I'm on my way. Thank you, Kansas. Oh, you're still here. Well then, here's another location I came across after my photo shoot in Kansas. So I stopped at a truck stop off of Route 70 westbound, um, just outside of Salina, Kansas. And uh, right next to the truck stop, there's this really cool abandoned house, man. Let's check it out, see what's inside. Yeah. What a random find. Um, this place is actually really cool. I could totally do a shoot here. Uh, I'm on my way out of Kansas, so I'm not gonna. I already did my shoot here, but it's, again, with the construction, um, all the rocks mixed in with the wood and the mortar is really neat. You can see this whole sidewall is falling off, but you could get a look right into the house from the outside. 